Hi everyone, it's Bea Divine and welcome to Divine Miracles and I'm sitting outside in my friend's lovely gardens. I thought I'd just do the month guidance uh, for May out here. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. So this month we are working with the angel Ambriel. And Ambriel is um, obviously overseeing the month of May and is an angel that is very dedicated to helping us on our soul path as well. Um, things start happening really quickly when we're working with Ambriel and you know you will notice a lot of differences going on within you like within your life and on your soul path as well. So I've got obviously got some notes and things um, you know to help us through and uh, some other extra information as we go along and I will do a channeled message as well that I've written up. So all of this is available at my website too so divinemiracles.com and you can read this for yourself um, or keep notes on things as you're going through and also I just wanted to say that um, I'm doing a lot of one day workshops around Australia, Canada, US etc um, coming up really really soon uh, the first one is May the 13th in Mount Dandenong in uh, Victoria so I'd really like to see some of you guys there for the one day workshop and also spiritual evenings and if you've got a group of four or five people um, you can also just have personal readings night as well with me so let me know where you are and I'd love to set that up uh, with you as well so okay so firstly I'm going to read to you a little bit about um, Ambriel and the month of May sort of what messages came through um, and then obviously as we as we always do we go from there and start to expand on things as well okay so hopefully, okay, I might have to do it this way with my iPad. Okay, so as I said, this is written up at my website. Uh, okay, so the the energy of Ambriel is about the beginnings and endings. Okay, so we've been going through this an awful lot um, over the years. You know, we've, been, we've just been going through endings and then everything seems really, really bad. And suddenly we begin something new um, as well and everything starts to be different for us you know so we're lifting up into these um, new vibrations all the time so Ambriel is known as the Prince of Thrones okay and he reminds us that whatever we have decided to do we must continue with it in order for our growth and healing to occur in our lives okay the old must make way for the new and a lot of healing and changes will take place if we open up our heart to receive Okay, so a lot of us are on the journey of expansion and we're on this journey where we're loving ourselves enough to do the things that we need to do for ourselves, which is really important. Okay, so although the changes are not always easy for us and sometimes sudden in our lives, upon reflection at a later time we will understand why our hearts needed to burst open for further healing to occur. So sometimes something we get grief, um, we lose somebody in our life, a loved one, and the grief is so much to bear that our just it feels like our heart is breaking right open. And with that, sometimes we need that big shock to the system kind of thing for everything to begin to start to change for us in our life. And it wouldn't have happened before that. Okay, um, Ambriel brings in swift change. He's a very, very quick moving angel. <laughs> And also a greater understanding of our soul journey and the balance in which we must keep ourselves in. Sometimes we're out of balance because of external influences, so things going on outside. Um, friends and family work situations that leave us feeling ill and worn out. And sometimes when you're an empath, you pick up from everybody all the time and it's really, really difficult. Um, when we're feeling like this, we first need to bring our emotions into balance by taking time in nature, grounding ourselves and giving yourself love and nurturing. Okay, so as you can see, um, nature around me, today I went for a really big two hour walk in the mountains um, before I got started today, so I'm feeling really grounded. Okay, only then can we make decisions that will be right on every level, even if they're difficult ones. Okay, so only when you take yourself out of a situation, give yourself time to clear and you know think and release and all of that can you make decisions that are right for you in a place in your heart where you feel grounded 
So Ambriel encourages each of us to love ourselves in order to keep the balance. And there's some kookaburras. Um, in order to keep the balance and to learn to control our thoughts by pushing away anything negative from our lives. With his help, we can begin to overcome many inner issues and trigger points in our life. There are some people that really trigger us off into um, memories or feelings or um, they trigger us off into bad moods. Um, you know, they're just triggering something within us that needs um, healing and awakening. Um, and with this, the inner issues that are coming up in the trigger points, Ambriel is one of the angels that can really help us to get through that. Okay, so the crystals that you can work with are citrine, peridot, tiger's eye, agit, and any of the clear quartz. So you can dedicate any one of your crystals to work with ambriel. Um, the colors of ambriel are generally like a pinky, um, mauve color, uh, yellow as well. Um, and the essential oils include juniper, cypress, lemon, and patchouli. So what's nice sometimes if you can anoint your candles by using one of these oils and you sort of rub the candle um, you know thinking about that particular angel or what you're trying to achieve so it might be healing it might be abundance it might be um, in quick endings or it might be new beginnings whatever it is for you you can sort of activate that candle as it's burning to bring in those energies which is awesome okay so um, Ambriel is the energy of air as well so you want to look up the air signs um, and have a look at my um, elemental uh, kingdom as well okay so the key points and here we get to the fun part key points are change soul healing new direction balance abundance energy and fast action so things really do need to change within you um, you know you may be going through a period where you're not sure what that change should be uh, what it could be or what it will be and sometimes I need to put this down Sometimes we um, anticipate too much about the future, like we um, really want to know what our future is in order to head in a certain direction. And I really have learned that, you know, having faith in your path, you know, and just having faith that everything's going to um, start to eventuate in your life is really the key. As soon as we go with the flow and have the faith in what we're doing, everything starts to uh, change and things become available you know and when you say look this is what I need um, and you have that feeling but I'm open to whatever the universe brings me then a change begins to happen you know and things shift and sometimes it's not easy but you have to uh, underneath everything always do what you feel is right for you sometimes you know there are people who um, give all their time and attention to everybody else and never think of themselves and there are a lot of people like that um, and then they feel emotionally depleted and um, also feel like um, nobody cares you know because they're always giving but yet nobody's made them give those things you know so it's time for you this month to go with the changes that are happening see them as blessings in disguise and something out of this is going to help you to grow and get back on your path okay um, also the soul healing and I was talking about this in one of my seminars when we're on the soul path when we're, we're doing our work um, we, we what we do is we come into an alignment with what we are as a soul and who we are as a soul and where we want to be and sometimes when we're trying to discover this or trying to have this alignment on deeper levels then we see that um, a lot of things are going on from past lives and past situations and sometimes a lot of people I know are actually very ill from things that are going on from past lives from people that have come back into their life from past lives and it's causing all kind of damage on a healing level so what we want to do is find your soul alignment we want to work with the points that are upsetting you we want to work with the emotions that are coming up for you and learn how to clear these out you know um, learn how to make things really easy for yourself as well uh, then you'll find the next point the new directions okay so working on yourself healing yourself lifting yourself releasing stuff 
you know, cleansing, clearing, keeping the positive vibe, doing the best that you can to, um, you know, stay happy within yourself, dealing with problems as they rise, not thinking that you're being punished, you know, shifting the energy all the time into something else. If you feel fearful, say to yourself, I'm just being really aware right now, you know, change that damaging negative thought. Um, if you're, if you're um, unhappy, say to yourself, I'm just going through a bit of a release at the moment and see how that, it's, it's like it's a, it's a positive affirmation for something that may not be that nice going on in your life, you know. And these are things that have really shifted within me over the last few weeks too. Um, and then we get this balance going on. Okay, so the next point, balance. When you're in balance, what do you think happens? Everything starts to really work for you. Everything starts to flow, you know. Um, when your soul is in alignment, um, you're walking your path, nothing deters you from that. You know, there, there's always going to be people that really try to block your path. They come in um, to your life as um, markers in your life. These are signposts in your life to watch for different behaviors. And the kookaburras are laughing at me. Watching for difficult behaviors and keeping everything lighthearted, you know, and funny um, as a way of seeing your way forward as well so everything that you're doing in your life try to find the balance in that you know yes this might be happening but this is what it's doing for you yes this person's trying to stop you but it's only made you more determined yes sometimes you feel fearful but it's making you more aware okay see all the positives to every emotion and healing really does begin and I mean that is the secret to anything that's actually physically wrong with you is um, what emotion is is trapped in there okay uh, abundance is coming through with with Ambriel, the um, he pushes energy through really quickly so if you're wanting something to begin and something to take off it's a really good idea to work with energy of Ambriel and give thanks for that abundance coming into your life you know for like you say to yourself I need some I need some apples and someone comes and gives you like a big bucket of apples oh I've just got these from my tree you know little things like that notice the uh, abundance in all the different ways not just money as well okay abundance of people abundance of support um, abundance of things that you've been mentally asking for and it starts coming into your life okay energy shifts as well many of us are going through changes in how we're eating um, you know what we do during the day how we take care of ourselves as well um, and sometimes there's trigger points from the past where maybe you're going through an emotional time and you stopped eating in the past and it's learning those trigger points and in sort of working through them working with energy differently in your life as well and also everything moving really fast embryo brings sudden change sudden new directions sudden people in your life, sudden endings in your life for things to begin, something to shift, something to be reborn, you know, it's whether you um, embrace it or not, or whether you just keep going backwards to the way that you always did things, you know. Another thing that I've learned like along the travels is whenever we keep repeating a pattern, it's because the way that we've thought of solving it has been the same. You know, if it's a problem, we've always solved it in the same way. If it's a relationship, we've always solved it in the same way. If it's a family member, we've always dealt with it in the same way. Only when you change um, the way in which you think about a situation, do you stop repeating things, okay? So if you go into a relationship, for example, and you're saying, I've got real bad trust issues because my last person cheated on me, um, you know you're going into that relationship with that energy on your mind you're going to create someone that does that same thing to bring mistrust and then you go there it is again you know but if you clear your mind and you go into everything clear-headed then you get this clear-headed person you get someone that's um, you know not going to do those things because it doesn't even enter their mind okay so look for those different um, ways of thinking that you have and see if there's anything that brings things about in your life constantly okay so if you're expecting a friend not to be a friend then that's what you end up getting and then you start being heard about it you know maybe expect to have 
you know, or some friends around you. And then they start coming, you know. If you can't find spiritual people, start expecting to see them. You know, just be open to it. And sometimes on our spiritual path, we really do need to be um, walking it alone. No one can really, even when we're in a relationship, no one can walk the same exact path of us as us. You know, so you have to develop your own methods of doing things that help you get through your life, you know, and bring you into that state of alignment and awareness that you really want to be in. You know, not struggle, 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 struggle. Oh, I've had a breakthrough, struggle, struggle. Oh, I've got another breakthrough, you know. We need to have breakthroughs all the time and notice all the amazing things that are happening all the time as well. So I'm going to read to you the um, channeled message for the month from Embryo. Okay, so this was uh, also written at my website as well. Move a little bit closer. Okay, so here's what the message is. Dear ones, with great love, we surround you now. Many of you are going through changes which are hard to understand, but necessary for your growth and for your soul alignment. Emotional trigger points can occur at this time. A lot of you will be going through upheaval and strange experiences, which are all part of the higher plan that you have set for yourself. Give yourself a chance to experience things that you've been holding back emotionally. Sometimes for you to release and cry is what will open up your soul enough to bring in the bigger changes that you've been longing for. Past experiences may be repeated in strange ways in order for you to truly get the message and learn from those experiences. Once learned, they will not repeat. It is when you continue to react in the same way when a situation arises that it will come up again in your life until you react differently, which is what we were just talking about. Love yourself enough to go through these changes and dedicate yourself to healing on the whole. The month of May will give you plenty of opportunities to do so with blessings, Ambriel and the angelic realms. And you can read more about attunements. Um, you can have readings with every reading that you get with me has an attunement. You can do a healing, intensive healing with me. You can do the mentoring program with me. Anything that you would like to learn about, talk with me about, and I can dedicate something for you. I can create something for you. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> I'm saying it, I can do it. Okay, so you get um, readings and attunements um, here from my website, so you can always click on that. I have specials going on all the time. And that is the message from Ambriel. Everything that's happening at the moment is part of your uh, soul path, the soul alignment, getting you back into a place of peace and understanding within yourself um, and not always um, struggling so much. Okay, Even when we have the utmost pain in our life and we have loss and we have heartache and we have all of those kinds of things, there's always something that can be gained from it and maybe we don't see it straight away because we're too busy and consumed in all this stuff but what will happen is something will lift something will change and you will get that um, next wave you know something a new idea will come um, and you know you'll be able to move in another direction which is really where you should have been going and perhaps you've been blocking it because you've been thinking about everybody else's what they need you know and maybe this is really telling you that it's time for you to heal yourself to think for yourself to love yourself enough you know and allow things to happen within you and allow yourself to go with the flow allow people to come into your life to help you okay um, and always ask your angels for assistance one thing that we always forget to do is actually ask and give thanks that they are there working with us it doesn't matter who you are you know it doesn't matter they can work with us they can bring changes into um, everybody's lives and people places that are impoverished and you know people are struggling and starving and all of that you know the angels are bringing in help you know and they're bringing in assistance they're um, waking up the people that live there you know who have been giving into this um, and shifting things you know um, and we're all having this massive shift within ourselves and the point is that we need to get things right this year. Um, this is our year to really focus on who we are. Um, and once we can do that, then everything will start to make sense. New people will come in, 
old people will come in with a new attitude and a new direction in their life as well and things will really begin to you know become really abundant for you okay see yourself with a vision of success never see yourself with a vision of failure because that just creates more failure you know see yourself with a vision of success and say I want this or something better that is my greatest thing whenever I see a really nice house I want this or something better <laughs> you know um, imagining imagining your life how you wish it to be you know and not bringing in that fear all the time in that negative side we need to lift and once we start lifting then less and less chance of having people around us that are not on that wavelength okay we're all riding this wave together so please check out my website and things and uh, see you on Facebook Twitter Instagram all of that at Divine Miracles and uh, hopefully I'll get to meet you on my travels as I'm moving around um, but until the next time I'm wishing every single one of you many, many blessings and goodbye for now.